Hey everyone, this is Stuart Day with Kelly Williams, Pittsburgh North, and today I wanted to talk about my video series, In Town Today, with Stuart Day, where I showcase locally owned small businesses. Why is this important for me to do? Why did I start this video series? And it really comes down to uh, why I think small businesses are important to begin with. I've been a small business owner most of my adult life and I've always been really passionate about small business and community development and how those two things work together. And uh, there's a lot that I could say about this subject but I want to talk about it from the perspective of real estate specifically because I think that you know small businesses play a huge role in adding value to our communities and the value that they add is often a uh, value that most people are just unaware of and that is kind of why I really wanted to start showcasing these businesses to show people in the community that wow these businesses are doing a lot for us um, and from the perspective of real estate they are adding value to neighborhoods and communities and downtown areas and um, that has a direct relationship with you know property value uh, uh, the desirability of certain areas and and why certain areas thrive and why other areas don't so first and foremost small business owners are community members right like they it's not just a nine to five when you own your own business you're putting 10 11 12 hours a day into your business and so you don't really want to be very far away from it so you tend to start a business in the same area that you live or you end up moving to the area where your business is and so small business owners will buy and rent houses um, they will uh, dump a lot of resources in into those homes and into that area because that's where they live in addition, the actual physical building that they run their business in oftentimes will improve with the small business. So, you know, a, a number of the businesses that I've featured so far, um, Chive in Elwood City, uh, Strombo Wool and Fiber Mill in Wampum, Main Street Diner in Wampum, uh, Beaver Bagel in Beaver. These are businesses that moved into spaces that were vacant for you know over a year sometimes many years and were in bad need of rehabilitation and these business owners came in and they invested a bunch of capital up front to improve that building i did the same thing when i ran my fine woodworking business down in pittsburgh you know i moved into a space that had been vacant for a number of years it the carpet was was terrible everything about the space needed revamped i put about ten thousand dollars into that space and when it was time for my business to move on, I left that space in better condition than when I got it, which means that the landlord can now charge a little bit more for rent. It means that the caliber of business that comes in next is gonna be a little higher. And so you extrapolate that over many businesses in a neighborhood, and you can see how just from improving the physical infrastructure, you're, you're lifting the community up a little bit. You're improving the uh, value of that community. Likewise, because the business owner lives in that area, maybe they have kids that go to school in, locally, maybe they're involved in other aspects of the community. So they not only improve the physical infrastructure of a community, but they're also, you know, they're donating to local uh, youth sports clubs. They're donating uh, their time, their products, their services to, uh, different events and organizations in the community. So they're improving the community that way as well. Uh, Good Love and Cookies down in uh, Cranberry, well, they have three locations, uh, Cranberry, Bellevue, and Ross. I did a video on them. I'll link in the description. Um, she regularly donates cookies to all kinds of charitable organizations and events and fundraisers and whatnot. So, you know, because they live in the community, they're invested in that community, they're trying to help out where they can. They're trying to use their talents, their skills to help the community grow. Another thing that small businesses tend to do is they get involved in local politics, in, um, you know, sort of community development efforts because their business is there. You know, they want 
the neighborhood to be more attractive to uh, clients. They want to bring people in. They want people to shop in the area. So they engage with the municipality, the township, the city, whatever it may be. And they, they start a dialogue. They say like, hey, you know, I think it would be better for the businesses if we cleaned up the sidewalk a little bit better or if we maybe improved the signage in town. Um, maybe we could make that green spot or that vacant lot. Maybe we could turn that into something. You know, business owners are creative problem solvers and when that group of people starts actively engaging with local politics, good things happen. And again, they, they sort of have this effect in the in the area where they start improving the community so that's just a, a few of the ways that small business owners and small businesses improve their communities beyond just their product and their service now if you contrast that with like a big chain right it, it just doesn't have the same effect if that chain's headquarters is out of state the owner is out of state they're not from that community it's just a totally different thing and i'm not demonizing big chains, they have their place, they have their role to play. But it's important as a consumer and as someone who lives in a community to understand that if if you spend $10 at a small business, locally owned small business, more of that $10 is going to trickle into improving the community that you live in. So if you take that $10 <clears throat> that you spend at that small business and you spend it instead at a big chain, well, a lot of that money is going somewhere else. You know, the headquarters, the owner, it's it's out of state. You're not going to see that same trickling into your community that you are by spending the money at the small business. So I encourage you to follow along my series so that you can learn more about the small businesses in your area. I encourage you to go and support the small businesses. If you don't know about your small business community, reach out to me. I'm, I'm plugged into them. I'm, I'm constantly networking with small businesses because I think it's important for me as a realtor to, to do that. You know, I think that my job as a realtor, it's more than just buying and selling houses for people. It's, it's really trying to cultivate and educate um, in terms of the community and like what's going on in the area. Support your small businesses and you know if you have to pay an extra dollar or something at the cash register at a small business just try to remember that that money is is better spent because it's coming back into your community. It's making your community better. They are elevating property values. They are elevating the beautification efforts. They are elevating your community in a way that big chains just aren't going to do because it's not part of their business model and because they aren't invested in the same way into your community. So uh, keep that in mind. Please support your small businesses, especially as we roll out of this COVID-19 shutdown thing. This has really hurt a lot of small businesses and they need to get back on their feet. Um, the, the worst thing that could happen out of this COVID-19 shutdown is that we see a, a big die off of small businesses. That would be absolutely devastating to our communities on a local level. And so the best thing you can do is get out there and help them by shopping with them. I'm not, um, I don't charge the businesses to be featured on the series. It's something that I do to help uh, foster a small business community and community development in our area. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more and, and always reach out to me if you want to be on my mailing list. Let me know and I will talk to you later. Take care. Hey, thanks for following along today. Part of my job as a realtor is to cultivate, educate, and grow the communities I live and work in. The other part of my job is to help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. So please keep me in mind if you or anyone you know needs help in those areas. If you know of other locally owned businesses I should highlight in this series, please let me know. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the like button. That helps here on YouTube. Till next time, take care.